let's differentiate uh, using the different rule chain rule product rule and the quotient rule okay so let's start with the first example say so differentiate say m of x m of x is given to be 2e to the power 3x divided by 3x 3x squared minus 4 So you can pause this video and try to do it yourself. Okay, so how do you differentiate this? So it's a good uh, practice to see what are the rules that we're going to uh, apply. So in the numerator, you've got 2 times e to the power 3x, and the denominator is this. So I think we have to use the chain rule to differentiate the numerator, and then to differentiate the whole function, we have to use the quotient rule. So we have to use the chain rule and the quotient rule. Okay, quotient rule. So let's differentiate this. So m dash x. So let's write the quotient rule first. So that is d by dx of the numerator which is 2 e to the power 3x times the denominator which is 3x squared minus 4 this is just writing the quotient rule mi minus d by dx of the denominator which is 3x squared minus 4 times the numerator which is 2 e to the power 3x divided by the denominator squared. So that is 3x squared minus 4 the whole squared. So so now differentiating uh, one by one. So differentiating this we have to apply the chain rule. So this is 2 times differentiating 3x would be 3 times e to the power 3x that's the differentiation of this function times 3x squared minus 4 as it is take away differentiating this would be 6x 6x six, six times 2e to the power 3x divided by the denominator squared which is 3x squared minus 4 the whole squared. So this is enough to check whether uh, this is enough to differentiate. So now we want to check whether this derivative is right. So I'm going to pick so so d you want to find differentiation say when x is equal to 0. So let's put this x is equal to 0 in this in this uh, derivative. So this is going to be 6, 2 times 3 is 6, e to the power 0 is going to be 1, so this is going to be 6 times what? If we put 0 here, this is going to be negative 4 minus, this is going to be 0, because 6 times 0 is 0, so that's going to be 0, divided by, this is going to be 0 minus 4 squared, which is 16. So the derivative has to be minus 24 over 16. So let's use a calculator. Okay, so let me get my calculator out. So, so let's go and go minus 24 divided by 16, which is minus 1.5. Okay. Now to check this, check this, what you do is go to your table menu. We know it is minus 1.5. Type in the function, so which is 2 shift e raised to 3x, like this. Close the bracket, divide it by 3x squared minus 4. 
And the only thing that you had to do is you have to check the differentiation of the derivative has to be on. So turn it on and go to your setting. It should be from zero. We want to find the derivative when x is zero. Here we go. So when x is zero, the differentiation divided by dx is minus 1.5. So the answer is right. Okay, so the answer is right.